Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install Wine 2.0.2 with this simple PPA you can find on this website. You will also find a link to this website in the description of this video. So basically yeah, you can read everything which is which have changed, which is awesome. And if you go down here, we can install it with the PPA or you can compile it yourself. This PPA is made by this wonderful person and it keeps up one stable up to date so it is awesome so if you trust it if you are okay with it then use the PPA I will show you how to do it now if not compile it yourself so let's open up the terminal I'm gonna press Control Alt and T together Terminal opened up and I'm, move, and I'm going to move it to the right hand side. I'm gonna. Where are you? I'm gonna copy the first line and this will just simply add the PPA and I'm gonna paste. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna type my password. I'm gonna press enter. You would notice nothing happened, seemed to happen when I was typing my password. It's just a security feature. Just type your password and press enter. Now we're gonna run the next command. This will update our computer and install one stable. As of today, it is 2.0.2. .2. So let's say paste. Let's press enter. Let's wait for the computer to update itself to the latest packages and soon we will be able to install wine and wine tricks as you can see here after this countdown is finished we will just press enter to continue the rest of the installation right now I'm going to press enter to confirm the capital choice one, which is the Y, which means for yes. So basically I'm going to fast forward this video now to save some time and I will see you soon. Fantastic. So let's close our terminal or actually no. Let's quickly type in a command to see if wine is really installed. We will type in wine and let's check the version number. As you can see it's wine 2.0.2 stable is installed on our computer. And now you can go to any Windows program which will work out of the box and you can just say open with wine. Thank you for watching, that's all. This will work on Ubuntu 17.4, 16.4, and I think even 14.4, and all the other Ubuntu based distributions like Linux Mint and many others. Thank you for watching, see you later, goodbye.